What's good, everybody? Back again this week with another devotional. This is part two to our sermon follow-up. I mean, we're going to entitle this, Know Who and What You're Talking About, based on Mark chapter 8, verse 27 through 30, message version. And it says, Jesus and his disciples headed out for the villages around Caesarea Philippi. As they walked, he asked, Who do the people say I am? Some say John the baptizer, they said. Others say Elijah. Still others say one of the prophets. He then asked, and you, what are you saying about me? Who am I? Peter gave the answer, you are the Christ, the Messiah. Jesus warned them to keep it quiet, not to breathe a word of it to anyone. Listen, we all may read this and clap it up for Peter, who is representing what all of the disciples are thinking or want to say. But let's hold that applause for a moment. We understand his declaration of Jesus as the Messiah very differently than Peter and the disciples. We understand Jesus as the Messiah who died on the cross to save us from the weight and death of sin. Peter and the disciples, however, interpret Messiah to be a military and political leader who will do battle with and be victorious over the Roman Empire. This Messiah will then create a new kingdom of Israel like they had before the multiple conquests and exiles that they experienced. And from there, the kingdom of God would be ushered in. Now, at this point in their journey with Jesus, Peter and the other 11 still don't get it. That is why Jesus orders them not to say anything. And because Jesus says, and you, what are you saying about me? He is really saying, keep my name out your mouth. If you don't know what you're talking about, don't speak about it or about me to others. This devotion is for all of us today. We need to keep people, their situations, their families, and their business out of our mouths. If we don't know the whole story, if we don't know what we're talking about, just shut it. Think about the rumors we can avoid that way. Think about the misinformation we can avoid that way. Think about the miscommunications we can avoid that way. Think about all of the trouble and the mess that we can avoid. Oh, how we would all breathe freer and be less messy. Know who and what you are actually talking about. Amen, y'all. Peace and love. <laughs>